Booty did it, bada do game, boo boo blah, do good a boodle that you drink like a sailor bee. That's it, that's all I don't get. This is good, but nah, f. Oh. Hello. I'm here to talk to you today about World War II. British pilots, in fact. And the logistics operators behind those pilots had a lot of work cut out for them. So obviously, World War II, there's a lot of fighting going on. They need guns, they need bombs, they need all that shit. But they also need beer, right? So they had this whole big donation of beer from the local brewery, and they needed to get that beer to the troops somehow. You need to put the bombs and the guns and everything, all the stuff that matters in war, onto the planes. But how do you get the beer to the guys on the ground? Well, one of these Brits had the ingenious idea to fill their fuel tanks up with beer, slap it on the jet, and bring it to the guys on the ground. Sound crazy? Tell that to Britain's Royal Air Force, because they actually pulled it off. And just so crazy that I'm gonna use that story, that true story as inspiration for the cocktail for today, that I call the Royal Flyer. Let's do it. Of course we're gonna use some nice American IPA, because we like to America fire drinks here a little bit. American IPA and some uh, good old Tennessee moonshine, because you know there was some residue left over in those tanks, so you got that beer fuel mixture, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Give you a little extra fighting spirit. Tennessee moonshine, baby. Fluke. Oh. And grapefruit. Tell me why. Because grapefruits go with IPAs great. You know, sometimes they actually put grapefruit into the IPA flavor, so the flavor profile is gonna be bananas. I mean, grapefruit. Let's make this drink. So first we're gonna shake the moonshine, AKA fuel, with our, uh, with our grapefruit juice. Holy shit. Yeah, that's about right. Then uh, we'll get our uh, little wedge of grapefruit here. <coughs> Move on to use my hands now. That's about right. All right, so we're gonna shake up the moonshine, AKA fuel and grapefruit juice with some ice. Ooh. And then uh, shake it up. Then we're gonna strain this out because beer cocktails never have ice in them. Look how beautiful that is. Looks like victory to me. Half your uh, high octane mixture and then half some good old American IPA. Ooh, yeah, that's some professional. You got that professional drip? Go ahead and pour it in. That's pro. No head. No head. Let's try it. Ooh! <laughs> I didn't, I got none of my brain didn't do anything. It's the strongest drink I've ever had. That is good, but I'm pretty sure that's illegal in 48 states. Let's try this again. Here, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna lower, I'm gonna lower down on Old Smoky on the moonshine. The ratio I'd probably like to hit is one to six. One part moonshine, six parts beer. Let's do this again. Oh, one shot of moonshine, then let's get two times that amount in grape juice. juice. I've had a cu couple of hits of the moonshine. I'm starting to feel it in my brain. Squeeze. Let's shake with some ice. Cool. Strain it through. And then the rest of this is gonna be mostly beer. Get it all mixed up. The fizz means it's working. Give it a second. Ah, for the queen. <laughs> I think the other one's better. All right, well come back to us next week where I'll be double fisting once again with two glasses of moonshine cocktails and we're gonna be making some more military cocktails. Drop us a comment, let us know what kind of military stories you have that you want us to make some military cocktails for. And if you have any military cocktails up your sleeve, I'd love to hear about them. Maybe we'll make them up a do. Maybe we'll make them up right here. Man, Moonshine will get you drunk. Buy my shirt, it'll get you drunk. No, for real, if you buy this shirt, we'll send you a bottle of Moonshine for free. Actually, no, but if you do buy this shirt and wear it, you will get drunk. Because you'll probably go out to the bar and drink that night. That's stuff, drinking that. Please. We've got a box full of liquor here, everybody. Yeah. Just open them up. Have you take the rum home. Guys, if, uh... Yeah. Oh my god! Oh. What the f***? How did that happen? I don't know. I, I just opened it. <laughs>